As you may know, Microsoft announced uh, some of the new features that Windows 10 will include, some of the changes they're making for when it's released uh, later in the year, probably sometime in the fall. And a few days after their press conference, they released a new build for uh, Windows 10 Technical Preview, build 9926. So in this video, I'll be going over some of the changes they made and just kind of going over doing an overview of the interface in the new Windows 10 Technical Preview. Alright, so here is the Windows 10 Technical Preview. Uh, kind of some, some of the visual differences you can see right away is that they've included Cortana as your search box down here and you can do both a voice search or you can type and if you click on the start menu it's already set up so that you can start typing something and it'll search both your computer and also the internet so if I type in say like notepad and it's running a little slow here but it'll both pull up the application different applications that are available in the Windows Store and also do some web searches and speaking of start menu they've made some tweaks to that from both uh, Windows 8.1 and also uh, the previous builds of the uh, Windows 10 technical preview so you click on it and you see now that it's a combination of sort of like the Windows 7 start menu and then also has the live tiles over here which you can scroll through and get to more of them and some of the tiles are live so they will update now with the previous technical preview you were able to resize this but in this current iteration uh, they've done away with that they may bring that back since this is still a work in progress you can sort of maximize it so it's like, kind of like the start screen in Windows 8 and 8.1 clicking on that button up there and then kind of makes it full screen click it again, go back down to the normal start menu size and then down the bottom left here you have the all apps so you click on that and that will give you an alphabetical listing of all the applications on your computer and you can scroll through those and click on whichever ones you want so you click on your next four here and open up your next four it opens up in a uh, window. They kind of change the look of the minimize and maximize and close buttons on each of the windows. And if you open up a modern app, so say like uh, maps, it'll open up in a window by default. Uh, with this new Windows 10 will also detect if you're using a tablet or a PC with a keyboard and mouse and toggle between the two different modes so that by default if you're running a, say a desktop or a laptop it'll open it up in a windowed view and you can choose to maximize it and it's still a little buggy so I'll just close that something like a news app here click on that and open it and if you notice here with some of the modern apps you could do the just maximize which keeps the bar up top here or if you hit the double arrow there it'll actually make it full screen like it was in let's say Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 which will fill the entire screen And then to get it back into the windowed size, like you see here, you hold down the Windows key and hit the down arrow, and that will shrink it back down. And then of course you get the X to close it. And also something instead of they now have a notifications icon down here. 
and if you click on that it'll list notifications from different applications and you can clear them or click on them and act upon them and it also gives you some quick settings down here that allows you to go into well toggle into tablet mode and desktop mode and look on the display settings click on this for all settings and also if you click this expand it gives you a total of eight quick settings and if you actually click on all settings you go to the system and if you click on notifi notifications and actions You could choose which four quick actions will show up on the bottom of the notifications. So if you click this button here, then it gives you different options what play what comes up on the taskbar. And you can also choose which four settings you want to uh, appear on the bottom of the uh, notifications window. And also various other settings here. And you can still right click on the start menu and get kind of an advanced list of settings so you could quickly come down and shut down sign out or restart instead of normally if you left click on this the start menu you come up to the power button click on that and that gives you the option to shut down and restart and if you want to log out you come over to your user icon here and click on that and that'll give you the ability to change account settings lock or sign out but if you right click on it, it comes up right here and you get the all three choices. You can get right to your programs and features, power options, event viewer system, all the different settings are available from a control panel. Get to your control panel, go to a file explorer. And here I'm quick on the file explorer. Uh, very similar to the 8.1 and the previous preview builds of 10. You have your different quick icons up here for whatever task you're doing. And it'll change depending upon what you have clicked on. So here I clicked on a folder so I could copy the path, which is handy. Delete, rename, all the get properties for it. Uh, if you click on an actual drive, then it'll give you options for the drive. So I go to manage and do all the different drive management tools and with as with the previous builds of Windows 10 you have task view button down here if you click on one allows you to see if you have open applications you could see them here and switch to them and you can also add a desktop so here I'll open up a folder so you can see that and when I click on here see that you can see the window and I can switch to it I could also add a desktop and then switch between desktops by clicking on it Again, go back down to the task view and switch to the other desktop and then if you want to move a certain window to one of your other open desktops click on task view right click on it and click move to and then choose which desktop and then now move it to the other desktop and again you can keep on hitting a plus and adding more desktops and if you want to toggle between them if you hit the control and windows button then you can move the use the arrow keys go left and right and toggle between and switch between the different desktops you have open now they were talking about the uh, new browser that would be available Windows 10 that their code name is uh, Spartan with this build, uh, it still comes with IE 11, but you are able to test drive the uh, render engine. I have a previous video that I demonstrate how to do this, but basically by going into the address bar and typing up, typing in about colon flags, that gives you the ability to uh, enable the automatic web platform features, and that will allow you to test drive uh, the Spartan engine instead of the normal Internet Explorer 11 engine. Uh, some people have been reporting that it's a little buggy right now, so you might want to use that sparingly, but you can get kind of get a feel, and I'm sure they'll improve that over time.
you have the this PC icon which is gives you an overview of you have quick access documents or folders here we, we you could add your own too if you want just by right clicking on a folder and you can click left click on pin to quick access and that'll put it here so you can gain access to, to it quickly and it also gives you common settings you'd be using within file explorer and you can also click on open settings up here which should quickly get you to the settings menu where you can do the update and recovery and accounts personalization now with the personalization settings here you can change your lock screen but you can't change your uh, account picture from there but you can do it from the accounts settings so you come down to accounts and this is running a little slow because I have it running in a virtual machine and the display drivers aren't quite up to date with it to the newest build of Windows 10 so everything's a little slow but here you can change your account picture and then again if you want to change your anything to do with the uh, display you can right click on the desktop and go to personalize and that will allow you to change the wallpaper and change different settings and also there you can go to screen resolution but this is pretty much the same since Windows 7 or even before Windows Vista uh, look quite the same so again this is just a quick uh, overview of some of the changes with the newest build of Windows 10 uh, they also made some changes with the Windows Store but it looks basically the same as uh, Windows 8.1 they're just kind of tweaking the interface and how they have it laid out but it's uh, mostly the same And again, this is still a work in progress. They still have, they haven't really consolidated all the settings. So some stuff you get to from the one settings menu, other things you still have to go to the control panel. But I think they do have made some pretty good progress and uh, it's looking much better than it, uh, Windows 8.1 was. So it'll be uh, interesting to see uh, what changes they make in the next eight, nine months before they uh, ship the final version. But this was a uh, quick overview of the Windows 10 Tactical Preview Build 9926. If you'd like to see more Windows 8, Android, or Beginners videos, click on one of these video clips, and also consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.